All right, yo guys, what's going on? It's Rage, and once again, welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 22. Now, today was actually a very productive day. I streamed the game again for like nine hours. Pretty much got all my battle rifles gold and ready to go for the next video. Kind of waiting for the angle to change here to show you guys that I also started unlocking platinum launchers. I have a platinum RPG on my back. You guys can kind of see it. So here for today's video, I'm going to be showing off the platinum launchers to you guys. It's another huge weight lifted off my shoulders as far as this whole Orion grind goes. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, especially in previous call of duties the launchers have always been just one of the most annoying classes to complete out here in modern warfare 22 though it's really not that bad i would say the the only really annoying thing is just taking the time to get them all leveled up which for the most part again you can just kind of farm the bots in the invasion game mode also to me i'm a very natural support player i always end up shooting things out of the sky so getting these leveled up again didn't really take super long first one i want to go ahead and talk about is the pila now this is actually the last one that i have to complete so i'm going to show it off here in just a little bit but this is the easiest launcher to use as far as shooting things out of the sky goes when it comes to UAVs, counters, really anything. Also, one other thing to note with all of the launchers in this game, for the gold challenge specifically, you do have to get two kill streaks numerous times. It varies from launcher to launcher. But one thing that does work and will count towards the two kill streaks is if you're holding the launcher and you melee enemies. That will count towards the two kill streaks. Now, for example, here with the Joker, I got very lucky at one point in time during this uh, invasion ground war match where I was able to go on numerous kill streaks. And again, it does stack. So again, yes, you can melee enemies, and I would honestly recommend doing that if you're going to run around and play 6v6. Yeah, it's going to be annoying, but it does get the job done. But also, if you find yourself to be lucky enough to, you know, fire a javelin across the map and get like a 2, 4, 6 kill streak, it will stack 1, 2, 3. Now here with Estrella, this is another free-firing rocket launcher that uh, can be used to shoot things out of the sky, like Harriers, Choppers. That's usually what it's better for. But just as a little tip, if you guys are going to try and use Estrella to shoot UAVs out of the sky, you have to line it up with the third mill dot down and the third one off to each side. It's the third line down and the third dot to the left if you're trying to lead your shot. If you put that third dot on the nose of the UAV, that's where your rocket's going to go and it will take the UAV out of the sky. Now, specifically for the Platinum Challenge here on the Strela, it says you have to destroy 25 enemy killstreaks, equipment, or vehicles. And again, it's the exact same thing with varying rates across all of the launchers, but one thing that I've noticed and I really hope that Infinity Ward decides to change is specifically in the ground war mode, I had taken out numerous helicopters with enemies in it and if you disable the vehicle that doesn't count even if you disable the chopper it falls out of the sky it destroys it it doesn't work that way it won't count that way which i think is uh, really dumb and probably could be changed so if you do shoot things out of the sky you're gonna have to destroy it in the air not just disable it and then watch it crash and burn to the ground once i learned how to lead my shot properly with estrella and shooting down uavs i just did that it was a lot easier same exact thing with counter uavs just arc it up a little bit and you'll be good to go next Next up here with the Joker, again, I know I just mentioned this a little bit ago. This one is extremely annoying when trying to get your two kill streaks with. So again, keep in mind you can run around and try and melee enemies, or you can get lucky in ground war and just fire them at spawn points or fire them at the objectives in ground war, and you will eventually get two kills in one life. It's not very hard, but it is very tedious. Surprisingly, though, with the Joker, it only requires you to destroy 10 enemy kill streaks. Destroy 10 enemy kill streaks, equipment, or vehicles with the Joker. Now, the way that I did this was shooting down UAVs, but you have to be very very, very quick with it. Considering the time it takes for the javelin to fire straight up into the air and then come back down and hit the UAV, it takes almost the entire UAV life cycle of it, which I think it lasts 30 seconds or something like that. No joke, you have to get it off within the first five seconds. At least that's the way it feels though, but besides that, again, works for counter UAVs. You can use this to shoot down Harriers, Choppers, you know, the typical stuff. Biggest thing again though, when it comes to the two kill streaks, don't forget that you can melee enemies and it will count. And now lastly here with the RPG, this is obviously the easiest one to use against infantry, so getting the two kills without dying five times is not very difficult and again you have to destroy 10 enemy kill streaks equipment or vehicles with the rpg a couple of things to note here for some reason i've noticed that weapon boxes you know those little ammo crates they don't count for whatever reason specifically with the rpg when going for this challenge in particular also i've noticed that again it seems damn near impossible to shoot down uavs out of the sky but shooting down counter uavs is pretty easy for the most part so just stick with that but overall though i was able to just fly through the rpg no joke i got this done in a couple of hours today while I was just casually working on it on my live stream. So now also I'm sure you all may already know this, but with every launcher in the game, you do have to get it up to level 11 and the base challenge is just get 40 kills with it. So it's not very hard at all. It's another one of these scenarios where I'm so glad that the uh, camo grind is a lot more streamlined as opposed to like Modern Warfare 2019 and all of the recent games where we've had to do just this ridiculous amount of everything.
everything over and over and over again. But real quick before I do that, I want to show you guys this. Um, I got the TAC V. Again, I've already started on my battle rifles. My gold still looks like cheese. I've gone into my graphic settings and I've set all of my shadows and spot cache, like all of this kind of stuff that I have that's supposed to make this look better. It's just, it, it's not working. I, I don't know why. I don't know what settings I have on wrong. I have my texture set to normal. I mean, I can try setting them to high, but it just, it, it didn't do anything. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've also tried restarting my shader cache and for some reason it just doesn't seem to work. So I'm, I'm sorry that my gold and my platinum are just going to look like cheese or just look like aluminum foil. But if someone can point me in the right direction on how to fix that, I would be uh, greatly appreciative of it. So thank you. If I haven't already mentioned this, uh, one of the best perks to use is spotter. Spotter right here is one of those uh, tier two perks. Obviously it's, it's like the set rep. It's the engineer, really whatever you want to call it. Just lets you see things in the sky. You're going to witch. Here's another UAV and goodbye. It's just extremely helpful with uh, spotting things, no pun intended, around the map. Also, while I've been focusing on getting these uh, launchers taken care of, I realized that I had to level up the M14 here. I'm not sure what the M14 battle rifle is called in this game. It's like the S something 70, but I had to get this to level 12. It's almost maxed out, and I honestly completely forgot how much fun it is to go for quad headshot feeds with this thing. Throughout the history of Call of Duty, like going all the way back to COD 4, the M14 has always been a one-shot headshot. It's great. Actually, as a matter of fact, earlier today, I was popping off with the M14. I, I love this thing. I, I hit this nice little quad headshot streak. Oh, perfect. Two spy planes right next to each other. Can I shoot them both down for platinum right here? That actually counted. Wow. Not sure why I didn't expect it to, but there it is. There's platinum. It, even though, again, we don't see what challenge we complete for whatever reason. So again, though, when it comes to the launchers, yes, they are very annoying at times, just as is uh, pretty much everything with this camo grind. Uh, it's just how it goes. It is very annoying, but if you're someone like me who is already a really natural support player, it's going to come very naturally and you're going to fly through the levels. Can't stress it enough. One of the biggest things that I would recommend is, uh, again, just going into invasion, learning the bot spawns and just farm them. Like if if you can get to a bot spawn where the helicopter just drops them in and if you fire it at the right time, you're going to get like 600 XP. Also, a couple of other things worth mentioning. Um, even if you play the objective, right? If you play the objective and you capture a hard point, for example, right? You'll get like, what, 400 XP? If you're holding your launcher, apparently that XP counts towards your weapon level. And also another really neat trick that I learned recently while playing uh, Invasion and Ground War is that if you are in a tank or if you're in some sort of vehicle, anything that you do, as long as you get into the vehicle, while holding your launcher, it will count towards that. So all the kills that you get in a tank or if you capture the flags, if you capture objectives while in the vehicles, you're still going to get that XP that will count towards your launcher. Now, truthfully, I wasn't able to do a whole lot of testing on that, but I did absolutely notice that uh, my, my weapon level was flying when I was doing that kind of thing. So again, just keep all of this kind of stuff in mind because I know all too well how annoying that is. And oh my, hold on, where's the fourth? Where's the fourth? Where's the, wow, nobody, great. Thanks, dude. As someone who's been chasing all of these mastery grinds over the past couple of Call of Duties, I, I know how annoying the launchers are. All right, so there it is. We got Platinum on the Pila now. And with that being said, we are now 12 out of 51 for the Polyatomic. So the ARs and the launchers are now completely done, at least up until this point. As soon as I get back into a game, we'll go ahead and inspect everything. But also ended up maxing out the EBR. So now I can go ahead and throw on the SO14 here. Also, earlier today, I saw on Twitter that uh, two guys, Reed and Skull, I believe their name, are have already gone ahead and gotten Orion, which is crazy because we're just now one week into the release of this game, which is psychotic. Honestly, I really respect the grind. I think Reed was streaming for like 118 hours and I think the other guy, Skull, did the same thing roughly. Absolutely insane though. I respect the grind. So yes, here it is. Here is Platinum, even though again, it just looks like duct tape. What is wrong with my settings? I promise you guys, all of my shadows and everything I need are on high. They're on the maxed out settings. I don't know what I did wrong. Anyways, Platinum Duct Tape RPG. Here's the Platinum Duct Tape on the Strella. And lastly, here's the Platinum Duct Tape on the Joker. This is actually gonna feel kind of weird. Like, now that I'm pretty much done with the launchers, at least for right now, pretty much at least up until I get to the point where I have everything else in the game Platinum, it's, it's gonna feel weird not having a launcher on my back. Again, I'm a very natural support player, so I always end up just shooting things out of the sky, or at least I'm always the one that switches to the support class. I'm a natural born support player. There are many platinum launchers out there, but this one is mine. On the real though, I actually am really excited to uh, start leveling the pistols. Although what I think I'm going to do first is probably the knife and the riot shield together. And then after that, I want to start leveling the pistols because uh, I swear every pistol I picked up in this game is actually really, really good, especially that basilisk. Also, one last thing to note here about the launchers. I don't know what it is, but why does every single one of them feel extremely weak? It's like, I swear earlier today, I went 
went to go shoot down one of these Harriers, and it took, no joke, like, five or six RPG shots. I don't get it. Not only does it pop flares, but you gotta hit at least, like, three of them here with the Pila. But in, like, every other case in the old Modern Warfare games, it would just be one stinger, no flares, that's it. But yeah, anyways, on that note, there it is. There is Platinum on all of the launchers here in Modern Warfare 22. It's gonna feel kind of weird not using them, but honestly, I'm excited just to keep the grind going. Gonna knock out the battle rifles here soon, and then I think shortly after that, I will go ahead and try to do the riot shield and the knife and uh we'll see how that goes so again that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i really hope you guys enjoyed i know that the launchers are always a pain in the ass so i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you guys are interested feel free to go ahead and join into my discord that's linked down in the description below so you guys never miss pings when i'm posting videos here to youtube as well as when i go live on twitch once again i really hope you all enjoyed this video leave a like if you guys did subscribe if you're new it's been rage and i will talk to you guys later take care everybody